Heather with Creative Life and today is day number seven with our 12 days of Christmas. So thanks so much for joining me again today. Oh my gosh, this has gone by so fast, you guys. And um, so I'm so excited to share with you tonight how to create little ornaments out of your clothespins, okay? Now, I have little tiny clothespins. I did have some big ones, but I'm sure you could use the big ones just as well. And actually, this is an idea that is inspired by Pinterest. So, <laughs> so I love going there. I know I've said it before, um, just to kind of get ideas and kind of get the juices flowing. And um, so what I did was um, I went ahead and... Um, made some little ornaments here. This is a star, okay? And it's not, um, it's not my, it's, I think it still looks like a star, but, uh, um, and um, you have to align some papers or something that is heavy in between each of the clothespins so they stay together, okay? Now, I've never made these before. This is my first time, so they're, they're not perfect at all. And, um, but I thought it would be fun, and um, so, yeah, so I thought these would be really fun, fun to, to make. make. And, and this one, um, I went ahead and used gl red glitter, and actually I used um, the Distress Glitter uh, uh, Barn Door. So, um, or no, I'm sorry, I used Festive Berries. So that is the, the glitter that I used for this one. And I didn't do the back, um, but I'm going to do the back later. And But I just wanted to show you the front, and I got really excited. <laughs> so I wanted to share this with you guys real quick. And same thing with this one. This one I used, um, I used the, uh, actually used this one uh, from what recollections I used their uh, chunky glitter so I thought what I would do is I would use I have some green glitter here and I've got some uh, warm diamond glitter so I thought I would try those as well and see how they turn out so I'm going to go ahead and put some together and we're going to make this one here this one um, is a little bit easier than this this one here um, like I said, this one you have to have like heavy cardstock. Um, I, I, from the picture from Pinterest, they used something else. I don't know what they used, but I used um, cardstock. And I'm going to show you how to do this large one, okay? So they're both really pretty. So, so I really um, enjoyed making both of them. So what you're going to need is for this one here, you're going to need six little or six clothespins. Okay, now you can use big or small clothespins. Like I said, I only have small clothespins, so that's what I'm going to use. And I'm going to go ahead and grab six of those. So, All right, and then you're going to go ahead and take them apart. And you're just going to take them apart like this. And you can either keep those or throw those away, whatever you would like to do. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead, and I would use your um, Fabri-Tac glue or your art glitter glue, whatever you have. So you're going to grab, you're going to take take them apart, okay, and the flat ends you're going to stick together, okay. So the flat ends are going to stick together, and you're going to come up with a little, a little guy like this, okay, just like that, okay. And you, like I said, you're going to go ahead and do six of those. So I'm going to go ahead and do these six. Okay, so after you get them all done like this, okay, they should be pretty, um, by the time you get done gluing everything together, they should be pretty dried. And I'm going to just kind of wipe off my desk there for a sec. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I am going to place the, these like this, right? And they're just kind of cockeyed. And I'm just going to put glue there. Like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and put them like this. All right. And I'm just going to go ahead and squeeze them a little bit to make sure they connect. Just like that. Okay. Okay. 
Now you can also use your glue gun if you want to. Okay, so with that you would just go ahead and put your glue gun right there and you would just go ahead and leave it like this. So you want it kind of like a V. Okay. Or upside down V. That's <laughs> kind of how I, I picture it. <laughs> so then I'm going to move these uh, to the side. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and do my next ones. And I'm using the glued gun just for um, like a because it moves a little bit faster when you're videotaping. Okay. You just want to glue them until you feel like you got it the same angle. Okay. And then you're going to face them towards each other. So like that okay then you're going to grab the other two and bring them in and you want them right smack dab in the middle like in and uh, um right across from each other okay just like that okay so that's how you want that and i'm just and what i did here is i just went around the whole area of my little um, clothespin and then brought it in and kind of just stuck it right in the middle like that. Same thing with this one. Whoops. I'm going to go with my glue gun all the way around the end of that. And then just kind of bring it in. Okay. Just like that. And then you're going to let it sit for a minute. Okay. And while this is sitting for a minute, we can go ahead and we can put together this one. Okay. Now, what I did for this one is you want to go ahead and you want to... Um, Cut out all of your little strips first. So I got my heavy cardstock, okay. Or you could use you could use chipboard, but um, you have to bend it. So I'm not sure how the cardstock or the I mean the chipboard would bend very would be very pliable. Um, I don't think it would be as flexible to bend. So I just grabbed some glitter cardstock that I had already, and I just kind of. Um, I didn't really measure. I just I just cut them in little strips. So I'm just going to cut these in strips like this. Um, the one thing that you want to do is make sure that they measure up on the sides. Okay. So if you need to cut them down, you can definitely cut them down a little bit. So I'll need to cut these down just a tad. So I'm going to cut this one down. And then I'll be right back. Okay, so for this star right here, you have to go ahead and take apart your clothes pins, okay, like this. Just like we did the other ones. And then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and you want to glue the tips on. So let me um, let me zoom in a little bit more here. Okay, so you want to go ahead and glue the tips. So you're going to put glue right here. All right, and you're going to grab your other one and just smash that together. Okay, just like that. Okay, and if you have excess, okay, what I've been doing is I've just been kind of go, rubbing that glue into the little... Um, crevice there, the seam. Okay, and then just sitting it down. So you'll need six of those, all right? So
Okay, so these are gonna dry, okay, and then you're gonna need six of those little strips, okay? And next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold each one, okay? Just like this. And I'm whatever side you want. So like this side is the side I'm going to attach to my clothespin. I'm gonna put some glue on that. I'm going to bring my clothespin on over and the bottom part, okay, this part right here where it's opened, you're going to attach the, the folded end to the edge of that clothespin, just like that, okay? So, just like that. All right, so now you have something that looks like this. So you have your paper up here, and then you have your clothespin down here. Alrighty. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to grab your other clothespin and you're going to attach that opening right here to the folded end that's going up. You're going to attach that to that part. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put glue on here. And I'm going to grab my clothespin and just stick that on that folded edge. Okay, and I'm just going to hold it there for a second. And you can definitely use your bone folder to help you, um, you know, with burnishing in that. So um, I that's what I did. So just like that. All right, so now you can go ahead and put that piece down. And then you can do the same thing here. So you can um, go ahead, put your piece of paper down on the edge of that folded piece is at the edge of the opened mouth part of that um, clothespin. Okay. <laughs> And then I'm going to grab my other piece here, my other clothespin, and I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. And you're just going to go ahead and keep doing that until you get all of your pieces together. So now once you have all of your air, your um, pieces here like this, okay, you're going to go ahead and take these and stick them on here like this, okay? So then all your pieces are going to be together. So just like that. So you're gonna stick one on each area so they stick together, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. <music> So just like that so now it's done so um, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and you can um, grab the other one and while this one dries completely okay you can grab this one and we can go ahead and glitter it now for your glitter for the wood okay what you'll want to do is you want to grab some of this stick embossed powder and the stick embossed powder is um, uh, I got mine over at Michael's and it's made by Ranger, okay, and basically it's, um, it says embossing powder and it'll say sticky on it. So um, when you buy some, make sure um, it says sticky on the, um, on the little, it, the fine print, y'all, you have to really look for it. <laughs> so, it'll say sticky on it. <laughs> so grab your Versa mark. Okay, and your Versamark is like a watermark stamp pad. Okay, it's clear and it is sticky and this is what will help your, um, your powder stick to your, um, like if you're doing stamping or, um, you know, with, with embossing powders, 
um, different colors or whatever. It, it helps with that. The sticky emboss powder, this emboss powder is a sticky, kind of like a gluey type powder that helps um, glitter um, stick better to your items and I mean you can also use it with emboss with other colored embossing powders like I said but it's it's made for stickiness it's it's not in um, like an like if you did embossing powder in a color embossing powder okay so I'm gonna go ahead and heat this up so this melt okay so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab my glitter oh I'll do the green. And these could be, you know, whatever you would like them to be. They don't have to be, you know, white. It can be whatever color you would like. All right, and I'm just going to go ahead. All right, so now you can go ahead and you can heat this back up, okay? When you heat this, you'll notice that your little clothespins will move. It's because um, if you used the glue gun, okay, that glue is melting again. So it needs time to, it's getting heated up again. So you'll need to go ahead and just press these together, okay? And they may be a little bit warm, but you'll just need to press them together again, okay? All right, and just let it set, okay? okay so and fun. while um, it's drying, I'll be right back. Okay, so now this is dried, and I can go ahead and move it. And um, it's uh, back, to, it's, the glue has dried all the way around. So look at how pretty that is, you guys. Oh my God, it looks so pretty. I love it. Oh my gosh. And then, of course, you could do the back if you want it as well. Okay. okay, now for this one, it's the same thing. Basically, you're going to follow the same thing you did for that one. You're going to go ahead and you're going to use your VersaMark. Okay, and then you're going to go ahead and apply your um, sticky With stuff. my heat gun. So I'm going to go ahead and heat this up again. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and move it back on top of my paper so I can put my glitter on it. And this one, I think I'm going to go ahead and use my white glitter. Okay, so next I'm just going to go ahead and heat this up again. Okay, guys, so um, there, there it goes. It didn't turn white, but it is very sparkly. So um, let's see, I want to make sure it's not too hot. So it is very, very sparkly. I don't know if the camera is going to catch it or not, but it's very sparkly. So you could definitely use some chunky glitter like what I did here on this one. Okay, this one's pretty sparkly too. Um, but I really like it. Yeah, it turned out really good. So, um, okay, so then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to let this dry. And um, I thought it would be a really cool idea, okay, um, to put pictures behind them. So if you wanted to, you could definitely grab a little photo. Okay, <laughs> so here's one of my granddaughter. <laughs> and you could just stick her little face right in the middle if you wanted to. You could definitely do that. And I thought that would be such a cute idea. Um, the other idea I had was you could... Um, go ahead and you could decorate these. Okay, so, let so um, you could definitely add some little items to your st little stars, okay? And I thought like right here would be really cute to add a little poinsettia, right? So how cute is that? So I'm just going to go ahead and grab, or you could even add this big poinsettia, just like that. That is super cute. So I am going to go ahead and add this in there in the middle part. And so to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and grab my hot glue gun. And set that right in the middle. 
Okay, you can also leave them plain if you're going for like, you know, rustic look or whatever, you could definitely leave them plain. So I just thought that the poinsettia looked really, really pretty. So I thought that looked good. Um, you could use some of your little flowers. Um, this is one of the little flowers that I had left over from the Prima um, flowers that I had that we used on our frame stand. Okay, so you could do that. Um, you could also just do something like that, you know. Put some little holly on there. A little bit. So I think that looks really cute just with that one little holly on there. So um, then here you could, again, you can add your little bells or um, whatever you would like. You could decorate it with some, you could decorate it with some of this little tinsel here. So if you wanted to, you could go around it, you know. Um, you could probably add some greenery to this as well. So, um, you know, if you had some little greenery, foliage greenery, you could add that to it um, as well. So I just thought that this was would be a really super cute idea. Okay, so, so there we go. So that is, um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> so, <laughs> they were super easy peasy, right? Um, so I just thought that these were so cute. And again, you could definitely put in a little photo of your little sweetheart or something. And I'm trying to find one that I've got out. Um, so I have one, like I said, I have one on my girl granddaughter, but how cute is that? You could just stick her face right there in the middle part. <laughs> and I just thought that would be so cute. And, uh, you know, um, you can definitely give that to them, um, as a Christmas present or, you know, to your daughters or your, your son, you know, as a little memento. Um, now I really wasn't planning on adding a photo in here but then I started thinking about it and I thought that would be such a cute little area for a photo right so um I really wasn't thinking about that at all but <laughs> I thought you know that's a pretty cute idea so I hope you guys like that <laughs> and you know you could definitely do it with the bigger stars as well so um so anyway, I hope you guys like this idea I hope you guys get to try it out um, again, thank you so much for joining me and I hope you all have a super and wonderful night. Bye.